Hello YouTube, D. Bodger here. Uh, some progress has been made on my Dualtron City, so I thought I would share it with the world. So, anyway, uh, the back motor is all set up. Um, both the controllers are uh, pretty much uh, all wired up, so like right there, oh, sorry, <laughs> it's off camera. So there's my haul cable that's been in place for a while. This has got uh, what's called COM and uh, the CAN bus cable in it. So uh, the only thing that's not in here, well the wire is, but it's not hooked up. But this is an 8-pin IP68 connector. And uh, the 3.3 volts in the uh, COM cable is in there, but it's not soldered down. Otherwise everything about COM is in there. So, you know, uh, TXRX, ADC 1 and 2, 5 volts and ground are all in there, plus CAN high and CAN low. Uh, and so, yeah, everything is all in that one. And, of course, uh, over here I've got other stuff, like, uh, what do they call this, uh, UART2 I think for those wires right there, and then that's uh, PPM, so I'll put another IP68 cable, or connector rather, on those wires, and I'll heat shrink all that stuff when I get more heat shrink, which will be here like Wednesday, and then both the controllers will have this stuff as well in another 8-pin IP68, which I probably won't use, but hey, better to have a connector on it so I don't have to take everything back apart again for later if I do use it. But uh, yeah, this controller has run the rear motor, but it's got a rough setup on it. Whereas this one has got a much better setup. I'll work about I'll work on this stuff some more later on once it's all together, and I'll talk about all this stuff in a minute too. Um, but I've done other things. So down here is the uh, old deck. So this lid um, fits inside there. And obviously it doesn't seal up because that was like a stupid move on Dualtron's part. But hey, I'll fix that. <laughs> but uh, for now, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to use this forever. I'm just going to like mount another piece of aluminum on top of this after I take this rubber piece off of here. Just screw it together and, uh, and then put grip tape over the whole thing. So it completely covers that space. So really what I want to talk about was a little bit of trim work on there. So I had to cut a slot in it. I had to trim the corners and the back here a little bit. And that's because it needed to fit around this little ridge, which is a little reinforcing ridge, and inside there to make all the stuff fit. In the process of messing with that stuff, my lid fell off. <laughs> fell off the hinge. So, you know, here's the hinge. And there used to be two really tiny M3 screws right there. And, well, one of them was stripped out and the other one was loose. You know, this thing's got 40 miles on it. <laughs> it's brand spanking new. And and Dualtron used M3 screws to hold the lid on. Really? <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. I retapped those for M4. And there's the latching mechanism. And uh, rounded these corners off because they're pretty sharp. Did the same thing there. Put M4s in there. And uh, they've got Loctite on, Loctite on them now. So that stuff isn't coming out. But uh, yeah, I don't know why they used M3. That was like seriously inadequate. So let's talk about some other stuff here. Um, let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. So here's my flashers. That's all working now. Yeah, all this stuff works. You see it up here. And of course, back there too. But uh, I had to make a little diode isolation board to make these things work because these are weird. They're not two LED um, strings inside there. They're one. And then they've got a little circuit in there that makes them run brighter or dimmer. That's it. I don't know why they didn't use LEDs, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, to make that work, I had to uh, create a little LED isolation board. So I'll turn the headlights on, and you can see the running lights are both on. And what would happen before is those guys would backfeed into the flasher module circuit and cause it not to work. But as you can see, that's all working now. Yeah, it's. Still all flashing up here, and as you can see, it flat. It goes from flash to run, flash to run. So yeah, had to make a little isolation board for that. And that little guy, let me turn this back off. That little guy is up inside here. It's kind of hard to see, but right down there, <laughs> you know, crammed in amongst all the other stuff. There's a little board. Basically, all it is is four diodes and uh, four JST connectors, uh, so that. Uh, the rear and front um, LEDs could go in there for directionals and run. And, and it just, all it does is, is uh, make sure current flow can only happen in one direction. 
Um, here is my flasher module. Can't really see it, but up underneath there, you can kind of see it. There's one of the connectors for the RGB module. Here's my MOSFET switch and that little green thingy right there. That's the uh, 30 position uh, terminal block that's got all the lights and, and horn in it. And here's 12 volts right here. Now there's, I took the uh, XC60 connector off it and the two wires just simply screw right down to this terminal block instead. So saved myself a little bit of space in that and it really wasn't necessary. Um, I talked about this briefly uh, on my last video. So it's a 10 position terminal block and this cable right here comes all the way around to the back and that comes out right there and plugs into the controller in the back and then this cable right here which is not screwed down yet comes out right there and that's for the front controller so again that's you know uh, basically that's all, all the signals except for 3.3 .3 volts in com and then hot can high and can low and of course here's my two battery wires uh, for that front controller so all the cabling is in place uh, it all works I just gotta hook stuff up <laughs> you know details details right anyway um, the uh, front motor is still sitting over here waiting for me to get back to that one and there's all of its wires which haven't been terminated and they need to be shortened and all that nonsense yet and then that can go on because well it's close back motors totally done <clears throat> Uh, I have been documenting things as I go, so this right here is my wiring diagram. So uh, this 8-pin uh, IP68 connector is coming off the controller. You know that's got COM in it and CAN high and CAN low in it, and all the wires, colors, and also what position they are on there. And then this one is that uh, gray cable. So again, same thing, what wire colors they are and what each one does. And then there's that terminal block uh, that I just showed for a second. And I'll show that again. Uh, that everything comes into, like here's my flasher module. Here's the uh, big terminal block that's got a lighting in it. Here's all my LED lights. Uh, you know, here's my MOSFET switch. It's all right here. Uh, here's my little diode isolator module. All this stuff is right here. And uh, this will get more stuff added to it. But yeah, whatever's going on with the scooter, I've got everything documented pretty much and I'll only add more so like this side down here I don't have anything labeled I don't really care too much about that but uh, yeah I'll probably write all that stuff down too <laughs> but I try to get everything down on a piece of paper if at all possible so that whatever goes wrong I don't have to go figure it out all over again it's all right here okay so yeah in this thing right now uh, just the rear controller cables in there and you know, throttle, regen, and my DeVega LCD, which is doing something weird. It was working, but now it's not. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. Uh, loose wire, who knows? I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, that's all. That was working, and now I gotta make it work again. Anyway, the thing you really care about is seeing the motor run, right? So let's switch around the other side over here. Okay, so here's the motor, and uh, here is my main throttle and here is my braking throttle and so I'll hit the main throttle so she works there's a bit of a vibration problem in there uh, that I have yet to resolve I'll get that worked out, you know, details, details, right? I'll do a little bit of regen and you see it slows down more quickly and I'll spin it all the way up again and then I'll do uh, like full regen and you see it spin down pretty quick and I'll spin it up again and then here's brake <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be quite that fast, but still, that's pretty darn good, right? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, that's uh, the braking before would kind of go mm -hmm, with the 160 millimeter rotors, and now with these 203s, it stops a lot quicker. Anyway, so, yeah, all that stuff's in place. Um, got little wires to figure out yet, but uh, everything is all here. It's all in place. That's the back controller, so that'll get screwed down onto the bottom side right here, get mounted there. Um, it's uh, not showing any heat in it right now, just from that little bit of running. So that's pretty good. Anyway, details, details. Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. You know, the back end is finished. I need to work on the front motor. Uh, I need some hardware still to mount all this aluminum stuff because my deck spacer <laughs> is uh, now made the need for longer screws necessary. But uh, it's just coming down to a few little fiddly things. You know, the, the cables are in place, so there's the rear cable. 
you know, here's the front cable, it's in place. So that's all my control signals for both VEST controllers, that's CAN bus, that's uh, TX and RX. Everything is all there. It's just a matter of a few fiddly details left. And then it's done. And uh, probably rideable. I'm, I, I, it won't be rideable like this weekend. <laughs> that's just not going to happen. But would it be rideable, say, like, I don't know, by next weekend? Yeah, that's quite possible. In fact, I'd say that's uh, pretty much a definite yes. Unless I blow something up. But, uh, yeah, it seems to be going well. Everything is uh, trucking along like about what I expect. And I keep making incremental progress to getting the thing closer to being finished. Anyway, pretty happy with things, and I hope that helps somebody out, and you want to do your own build kind of like this.